I got the idea for the Phantom Stallion series when I was on a cattle drive out at the edge of the Black Rock Desert. I was riding behind the herd, and it was a very misty morning, and steam was rising up off the rocks. And I looked down this little slot canyon, and I thought I saw a white horse. But just as I saw the white horse, my cow pony Ace saw a cow. And so he took off after the cow. By the time we brought her back into the herd, we investigated the canyon, and there was nothing there. And that mystery, that mystery horse, kind of triggered the idea for me of the Phantom Stallion series. I wondered what would happen if there was a white stallion that came and went so quickly that people thought he was a ghost, and they began calling him the Phantom. I thought that horse just lived in my imagination until, um, for about 10 years, until I found out that there was a wild white stallion near Stagecoach, Nevada, approximately 100 miles where I saw the, my ghost horse, and he had been brought in by the BLM, um, actually by the Department of Agriculture, because his winter territory had been usurped by a housing development. And luckily for the Phantom, and that's what all the people who had seen him over the 10-year period had been calling him, even though I didn't know he was there, um, they thought I was in on the secret, but I wasn't. Um, luckily for the Phantom, the Wild Horse Sanctuary in Shingletown, California, near Mount Lassen, was able to take him and his one remaining mare, and um, they are now going to be set free on 5,000 acres with other bands of wild horses. In the meantime, the Phantom has been given for other mares um, who are wild horses that just didn't settle into their adoptive homes. They just, civilization was not their thing. And so, very soon he'll be roaming 5,000 acres with hundreds of other wild horses.